Hey guys, Lydia here, and welcome back to the channel. So, as you can see, this lovely bookshelf right here in the video, this is what we are going to be making today, guys. I'm so excited to make it with you, so let's get started. So I'm actually going to start by cutting all of my wood. We're going to fly by this cutting because it's so, so easy. And most of the parts are actually the same size. So I actually ended up cutting two wood boards on my table saw before I realized that they're just not even. It keeps splitting at the end. And I'm better off using a circle saw so I can get some support on it. So after this board right here, that's what I end up doing. I end up switching to my circle saw. Um, so guys, while we're going to start with our circle saw, I'm actually going to get, like I said, everything cut. Please make sure that you do measure, 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 and measure again. I don't know how much I can stress that in my woodworking videos. Always measure two, three times before you cut. Um, I ended up making a mistake later on in the video and I am pretty sure you're going to see it. I don't like to hide my mistakes in my videos and I actually do kind of highlight them just so y'all can learn from the mistakes that I make. But I ended up flying through cutting with this circle saw really, really quick. Um, and I got all of my boards cut up, labeled, and put where they need to be before I started my assembly process, which is actually really easy and quick as well. All right, guys, so quick thing, I just wanna throw it out there. I had to get me another wood board from Lowe's because I totally did not order enough. Um, I needed six more feet of wood. So that's what I did, and that's why there was like a little break in the video. Anyway, um, I got all the wood finished cutting once I brought that last board, and this is where I am now. So right now I'm building the center parts of the bookshelf. Again, I got this plan off of Etsy.com, um, and I can leave the link on where I bought it from. I'm not giving y'all the plan, because I bought it, you buy it. That's my rule. <laughs> but I can leave it right now. I am building the little center boxes that go in between, and I'll insert the picture, and you'll see it where it is. Um, but I'm having an issue with it. I've been moved my table set up like three times. If you see my garage, and I'll show it to you if you haven't seen it already, I have no wood shop. We just moved here. So everything that I'm building for the house right now is like just being built straight out on <laughs> either my little table saw table when I put the blade away or right here on the concrete, just to let you guys know. So I'm gonna finish building these and then I'll start the sides of the bookshelf. All right, guys, so now as you can see, I start um, assembling the middle section of our bookshelf. Now, if you go down, like I said, to the description down below, I will have the plans to this bookshelf, the cut list, everything down there and where you can get it from. I purchased it all on Etsy. So like I said, I will leave that down below. But right now we're just assembling our middle sections. These are the rectangle boxes that will be going in between both sides of the wall of the bookshelves. Okay. And they will actually be the support holding the whole bookshelf together. Now, when I do assemble everything, and I mean everything on this bookshelf, I use wood glue and nails for every single wood board that I attach to any other wood board, literally wood glue and nails. And I just do that to ensure the strength of my bookshelf as well and to make sure it is as sturdy as it can possibly be. Like that is my main concern when I have kids. Everything that I build is sturdy and definitely not going to fall and it is as strong as it can be. So that's what I'm One doing. Day. I only added two nails to each side. I got our first one, one down um, and we're going to work now on the second one, like I said. Okay, so this is our second one completed. 
And we are going to move on now to the walls. So I ended up using the two rectangle inserts for the bookshelf to actually hold up the wood pieces as I screwed in the rest of the shelves to our sides of the wall. It just was able to make it be a little more sturdy for me. Again, I don't have a wood shop. I'm just working on the ground in my garage. So that was actually able to help me out a lot. Um, just to use those and then using them as spacers in between each shelves was easy also. So I made sure I did that. So for here, like I said, I'm just going to use wood glue and screws, attach all the boards where they're supposed to be. I'm going to measure each side, make sure all sides of the wall is identical. In this clip, I'm only going to show you me assembling one wall, but again, they are identical to each other so the same way I did this first side of the wall is the same way you're going to do the second side of the wall if you choose to make this project if you do choose to make this project guys make sure you let me know down below I would love to see your woodworking projects I want to come up with some more things to do around the house it's something that's really relaxing to me and that I can really just take my time on so I'm most likely just going to speed through the assembly of the wall and let's play some music so you don't have to hear me talk the whole entire time. <laughs>
guys, so it's the next day. Technically, it's not. It's been like a couple days, but this is the next day that I'm getting back to the project. All right. So I have actually both sides built. I have the center built. What I'm doing right now is working on the end. As you can see, I have like these, the center parts entered here and they're just sitting there. Um, that's what I used on this center and I'm using them here just as spacer so I know um, how far apart I need to screw my shelves in. So once I measure it um, and get my bottom part installed, I'm going to make sure the actual bottom feet is leveled, squared off. Um, so I might come in with my saw and just cut that off. And then we'll be filling and sanding. Okay, let me tell you how I just fucked up. Am I allowed to curse on YouTube? Let me tell you how I messed up. This is why they say measure twice and cut once. I am a quarter of an inch off from finishing this darn bookshelf. I'm so mad. So look at what I have here. This right here is literally a quarter of an inch off. A quarter of an inch off. A quarter. So now I'm trying to decide, am I going to shove little wood pieces in there or am I going to go to Lowe's, buy another wood board, get it cut to the right size because I need two of them since I messed up on both sides of the bookshelf. I need two of them to be fixed for the bottom parts of the shelf. Um, and then this I'm going to cover with wood board just to make it look flush. And, well, this I'm going to cover with wood board to make it flush and flat because this is going to be the bottom. So literally on both sides of the bookshelf, this one and the one back here, cause they're kind of like right next to each other. I'm a quarter of an inch off. Oh my God. I'm going to Lowe's and we're going to do it again. And I'm going to finish building this thing by today. I am determined to finish building this thing by today. So let's get it done. together the only thing I'm stuck on guys and this is where I'm debating 
For the sides of the shelves, I only have two screws on either end. I'm trying to decide if I want to put one down the center. Um, I'm not sure about that yet. But what I'm going to do right now is start filling these holes where the screws are with some wood filler. Um, so that can dry. Um, and I'm going to fill every screw hole, even the little inner cabinets, with wood filler. And then we'll start sanding it off. So for this clip right here, guys, I just wanted to give you an up close on how I fill my little holes, nooks and crannies. This right here is actually a chip of wood that's like missing out of this whole corner. So I'm using the Mod Podge or the wood fuller um, to actually just rebuild that corner and square it out. And then once it fully dries, I sand everything down to be smooth before I actually condition and stain this bookcase. So again, this is just me applying the wood filler and getting all the cracks and crevices covered up like they should be. before I stain. So I'm thinking I'm gonna leave them standing up like this far back one, do the conditioner on the sides, then lay it down and then do the rest of it. I'm trying to figure out which angle to have it in that I can do most of the work at one time without having to go back and flipping it and messing it up on the sides if you get me. Um, so we're gonna get started on conditioning and then we'll stain. So guys, right now I'm just going to go in with conditioner before we stain, okay? I almost made that mistake before on a past project. So please, again, learn from my mistakes. So I'm just going to go in with the conditioner, brush it on with the paintbrush, and then use my cotton towel cloth, whatever you call it, to wipe off whatever excess is left. I'm going to let the conditioner dry for about two hours before I apply my stain. Now, I only did one coat of conditioner and one coat of stain on this bookshelf. You can say one and a half coat of stain because I did get some of my lighter pieces and go back over it, but I did not have to go over the whole entire thing. So again, I'm just going to stain the bookshelf, let it dry for an hour or two before we start staining it. Um, the color that I choose. So this is us conditioning. Conditioning.
cut this out the original video but and make this a story time but y'all i'm a little scared i don't know if i should keep filming outside i might make this to a story time but somebody's like driving past my house and keeps watching me um and he done drove past like four times and now he's filming me when he drives past so i just went upstairs <laughs> to get my protection just in case um I ain't no punk i'm from the bronx so we finna stay out here and continue this but we're gonna see how it go <laughs> uh yeah let's 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 pick it up where we left off Hey guys oof so as you can see in the last clip we just finished um staining our bookshelf everything is completely stained i actually went over on two coats on it um on some spots not all of it because i did realize on some of the wood boards i left it on a little longer and it was darker i know i'm rambling anyway we're looking like this I actually have to get to work soon so what I'm gonna do is just leave these outside on my driveway to dry well yeah to pretty much finish drying up and then when the husband gets home 
he'll bring it inside for me or at least in a garage and then I'll set it up with you guys tomorrow um, inside the house and show you how I pretty much set it and where it goes so I'll see you then <laughs> So this is my finished product of the bookshelf. It took me about a week and a half to two weeks to complete it. Um, we just brought it in right now. As you can see, the stain just finished drying about last night. So we brought it in this morning. And you can see like in the B-roll clips, when you get close-ups, there are some things that I wish I would do better. Um, like I have some crooked lines going across my bottom floor. There's like a little quarter inch gap at the bottom. And again, you'll see that in a close up video when I show you more of the bookshelf, like in close, I mean. But overall, I love it. I really, really do. I am going to anchor it to the wall because again, I do have a toddler who thinks he's Spider-Man. So we are gonna anchor it just in case, but it is really sturdy. It's not really going anywhere. <laughs> and I know as soon as we put some more stuff on it, it's really not going anywhere. So I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like this video. And if you do like this video, hit that thumbs up button down below just to show, um, you know, your appreciation or just to say that I appreciate you, whatever it is, guys. Just I'll see you in the next one.